going to try to catch this unknown salamander species that we found here in this little pond. If I don't fall in first. Whoa! There's one. Is that one right there? Right uh, below the uh, spotted salamander egg masses. That looks more like a newt. It's hard to set right there. That's a red spotted newt. Yeah, that is a newt for sure. I can see how his little stance give him away. Yeah. And there's the spotted salamander egg masses and looks like wood frog. Hmm. Well, not quite small. Very gelatin-like. You can just make out the dark larva inside. Mm -hmm. And they generally attach them to sticks like this, but not always. And it feels like a handful of jelly. It sure does, and you can really see the little dark dots in there where those little baby spotted salamanders are forming. And the incubation period is about four weeks and then the larval stage is two to f uh, three to four months mm -hmm. Put them back over yeah so maybe August to September these guys will turn into adults and head out in the woods All right two wood frogs caught on the act <laughs> I don't see an egg mass yet it's still inside of the female look how big she is yeah she's fat. probably just grabbed her Rana sylvatica. Yeah, they do. Some people mistake them for geese or ducks. Clucking chickens, just like you're saying. Surprised we don't hear any of these guys at that time of year. We will leave you guys alone in your uh, special moment. Now that is a lot of wood frog eggs. I've seen more, but that's quite a bit. That egg mass is probably, what, five feet long, four feet long, yeah. two feet wide. There's another big mass down there. Yeah. I guess they, uh, they're communal. Oh, yeah. They just sort of group together and lay them all in a big glob and just keep adding to it. Suppose it's the strength in numbers theory. There's a number of amphibians that do that. Yep. Those will all be tadpoles within a few weeks, a few days really. Beautiful. Now this is more typical of the size for the spotted exalimentary masses. And look at the coloration, how dark it is. You can't see the nuclei at all. That's very interesting. Now, the, the greenish color is a very specific algae that actually provides oxygen to the, the eggs, hmm. uh, particularly to the ones that are inside who, who aren't in direct contact with the water. So it's a kind of a symbiotic thing. That's really amazing. Now, this one's been here at least a week. Mm -hmm. now, but these others that we're seeing are much whiter, cleaner, and much smaller. But um, I'm guessing that the females will come back and add to those other smaller ones. Mm -hmm. And then they'll eventually be big and dark like this one. That's really big, yeah. Is that, that's from one salamander or maybe several? Um, I can't answer that. It's hard to I tell. I don't know yeah. if they communally add to the same aggregation or not. Right. This one was not tats attached to anything. Hmm.
Hey guys, well I'm down here in this pond, back here in the woods that I was telling you about earlier, and we're looking for this uh, unusual unknown salamander that we saw in here a little while ago, and I think I found one, so I'm going to dip him up. I got him. Bring him up here and let's check him out. Looks like may very well be a mole salamander. Put a little leaf there. Oops, careful there little guy. This is a mole salamander. Beautiful little animal. Look how pretty his tail is. He's got little Almost like glitter like flecks on his tail. Wow. What's his overall length, Steve? About six inches? Five, six inches maybe, yeah. Get a look, look at his belly here. He's been described as a salamander on steroids because of a really chunky, beefy body. Yeah, they're very, he is really chunky. He's like a little miniature hellbender in a way. Big wide head, little beady eyes, big muscular legs for his size, and that big wide tail for powerful swimming. Some of his face, that's a good one. Really, really special little guys here. They're really important to a healthy ecosystem because they eat all manner of little critters, that little insects, little insect larvae. These guys would probably make quick work of, um, of uh, mosquito larvae for sure. Anything that wiggles that they can get their mouth on, they gobble them up. I'm gonna take him back down to the water and let him go. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little guy down to the water and let him go back into his little natural habitat here. Right where I caught him. Down we go. There he is. Back in his natural habitat, this little ephemeral pond in the middle of the woods here. Now he's he's heading your way now. Yeah, I think he's alright. Now he's not an overwintering larva. Mm-hmm. He's a definitely an adult. Oh yeah. But I think yeah. some of the ones we saw in here earlier were uh, overwintering larvae because they had gills. That's true. Well, I guess he's just an adult just hanging out in his, his habitat. That is a really good looking little salamander. We're going to leave him alone and see if we can find some more. <laughs>